I think the confusion sometimes is uh, the fine line between DOT3 and DOT4. Uh, the question is, can you use DOT3 in a um, DOT4 manufacturer's parts uh, requirement? And the answer is yes. Um, the Honda BFR requires DOT4, as with all motorcycles. And if I understand it correctly, the difference between the two are in the... Uh, something like the mineral oil and the boiling point. Uh, for instance, um, this is DOT4 and I got it off Amazon for a really good price. It's 32 ounces made by Motor Medic. Uh, super heavy duty with a boiling point of 446 Fahrenheit. What I usually use is this. I bought probably 10 bottles of this stuff because it's so cheap and I changed my brake fluid and my clutch fluid <coughs> excuse me I, I bleed my lines <coughs> I bleed my lines probably every two months um, I also switch out my brake pads and switch my brake lines over to metal lines so safety is a big thing <coughs> Excuse me, I just I just ate dinner and it's caught in my throat. <coughs> Anyhow, the, the dollar store has some pretty good products and pretty good bargains, one of which is this brake fluid. Uh, it is six fluid ounces, DOT3, and it's a dollar. And it's pretty good. Uh, the only thing it's not good, or what it's not good, is it will kill your paint job. This stuff will literally eat your gas tank eat your your the paint on your forks will eat the powder coating on your rims it will do damage in a in just mere seconds so although it is very cheap stuff or inexpensive stuff I wouldn't say it's cheap it's pretty good there it is right there in the bottle it's crystal clear uh, it looks almost like a canola oil but uh, you know, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is, because it's six fluid ounces, and this is a DOT4 good stuff, uh, this isn't synthetic. Synthetic is, um, I think, three more dollars. But the boiling point on this one is as good or better than synthetic. Um, synthetics, I believe that synthetic will kill your paint job also. So, you know, there's really no, there's really no you know, whatchamacallit, uh, difference between, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know that answer to that one, but if you want to put synthetic or mix it in a blend like I'm doing, you know, kind of like motor oil, you're using uh, either a mineral oil, conventional mineral oil, or a conventional petroleum oil, and mix it with the synthetic, you can do that. Um, I strictly use synthetic, and not only that, you know, I want that bike to start up on the first crank so I'm using uh, you know the best oil filter I can and if it clogs up I have an inexpensive one that I change out until I do a full oil change and those oil filters will cost you only a you know like a dollar fifty you know you can buy a dollar fifty for an oil filter for a motorcycle and then just change it out you know if you're stretching your oil oil change or in my case, I put special oil additives in there to better up the uh, synthetic oil. And you're going to find out that your shifting is twice as good as your synthetic when you do that. <laughs> Anyhow, the brake fluid is going to get mixed in a 50-50 solution. This is 34 ounce. The ketchup bottle is 64. So I'm going to probably go 28 or 32 mixed with the dollar one. And my boiling point, if I go 50-50, will probably be 350 degrees, which is, you know, I guess sufficient. But DOT4 is 500 for the super stuff. That means the synthetic would probably be, I don't know, you know, maybe if uh, you have the answer, you can send it to me. Or if you know what the difference between synthetic and... Um, 
you know, some of the other brake fluid or the confusion between DOT and DO4. But because this one was, I think, maybe, I don't even know if it was $10. I don't remember. No, 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 wait. Wait, because it's 32, um, 32, I think it was only $7, right? So this was $7 for 32 ounces of super, I think. And then this was a dollar. So I'm going to mix the two, and it's going to be about $10 for 64 fluid ounces, or, um, I don't know how much that is. It's, uh, 64 ounces. This is not fluid ounces. This is just ounces. So, uh, I don't have the answer to that. Anyhow, it's going to be a 50-50 mix. It's a good way to stretch out your uh, budget. If, you know, like I said, you want to you wanna flush that stuff out, I flush it out really easily. I, I made it, you know, I tried to let people know that there's easier methods to flush your system out. Stick a hose onto it, put it to your mouth, open up your bleeder, suck, you know, suck once or twice, close it up, and you're done. It's bled, the air is out of it, and you just took about a mouthful of uh, brake fluid in your mouth, or in the hose, so stay above it, and then you can just spit it out or recycle it. Um, but the DOT DO4, I've used DOT3 for years, and to much success. Um, the boiling point is an issue though. And you need to, uh, I've, I've, I've never had a problem, but brake fluid is just extremely, if you ever seen a car fire, uh, it happens in 10 seconds. In 10 seconds, that brake fluid and that whole brake area will be engulfed in flames. The whole car will be engulfed in flames because of the brake fluid in probably 10 seconds or less than a minute. So take it seriously, but... In the case of motorcycles, I've never had a problem, don't expect to, and this is just a, a way to, you know, mix your synthetic with your regular or DOT3, which I use, uh, to, to mix the DOT3 and 4 and kind of go middle of the road. Um, anyhow, that, uh, that should do it.